Hey guys, it's Shingy. The role of transparency is this year's theme at the Seattle Interactive Conference. It all became clear when I spoke to Tim Keck, co-founder of The Onion, The Stranger and The Portland Mercury. Tim embodies transparency from both a creative and an editorial perspective. What does transparency mean to you? Well, in this case, you know, The, the Onion is a spectacularly untransparent publication. Uh, for years and years, it, uh, it, it you know it used pseudonyms. You, there was no way to interact with the Onion at all. Yeah. They could write whatever meanest things that they wanted to, and you had no there, there was nobody to, there was no higher court to talk to or nobody who could do it. Um, and I personally have never really talked too much about the Onion until now. So this is the first time I've been a little transparent about what my first year was like and what doing the Onion was like. You know, but what's interesting about when you say it's the most untransparent publication, it actually feels transparent. Because it's honest, it has a point of view and it writes. Yeah. You have a, it's not predictable, but it has a flavor that feels like it's written by man on the street as opposed to right. well-paid journalists, I guess. Was that part of the, the ethos at the get-go to make it transparent? I feel like there's a few different um, formulas for making an onion story. One of them is hyper-honesty. So you write about something um, from a personal point of view that you would never write in a real publication. Yeah. Typically it's taken by a character. Um, but uh, another thing is, is, like you mentioned, the man on the street sort of thing of, uh, of describing a situation. So we like to write about, or we used to like to write about and continue to do, write about small things as if they were big yeah. and big things as if they were small. Uh, and, uh, and and that voice on the street is is one of the onion tenets. But it's also kind of interesting that that used to be a joke, writing the man on the street kind of voice. Uh, but now it's it, that's how people get their news now, and Twitter, and you know, it's if you follow a disaster, you're going to get very onion style writing. Do you think that you know um, the part of humor, the part of being real, is part of the success? Of Onion, is you think that's their continuum? Yeah, yeah the, the Onion started in the 80s when it was Bush Reagan time, right? And uh, and it was the media was very homogeneous and glossed over. And so what was really refreshing about the Onion was it was it tried to, it would say shockingly mean things, it would say anti-religious things, yeah. and it would and it would write in a, and it would try to write in a very honest voice. And I think that's I think for a lot of people it was very refreshing. And if I didn't start The Onion, somebody else would have because there was definitely a, a need for that in the media world. What is it about the Seattle Interactive Conference that you find intriguing? Why, why did you choose to come here today? Oh, you know what? Uh, I really like the people who run it and it's our hometown big conference. And, uh, and, uh, and so I wanted, to, I wanted to participate. And I thought that transparency was a really good theme. Hmm. And, uh, and so I thought, okay, I'll be transparent about it. No, I love that. Uh, when, what do you see in the future of what it is that you're doing? What are the, what are the next projects for you? What are, the, what are you extending into? What are you leaning into? Well, a big part of our business now is event ticketing. Hmm. And so what we do is we take uh, local media who has amazing penetration to promote events um, and back it up with a ticketing system. And so you know, the, the, the tickets for this event were, were through my company. And so what we do is we match. We, we, we have the ability to sell more tickets because we, we leverage local media to do uh, um, tickets. All events are local and the majority of people go to events locally and the way they find out about it is typically through local media so we have this we have a we have a position that really nobody else can that we can sell more tickets than anybody else well Tim you seem like a guy who doesn't take things too seriously you do it with a lot of fun and yeah, a lot of charisma business, which you have to I completely appreciate oh, so thank thanks you. for spending some time with us mate cheers appreciate it thank you cheers.